Russia's newest wide-body aircraft patent appears to be for its own version of China's C-929. Aviation addicts first noticed this because the official photo of wind tunnel testing for the Russian patent looked identical to that of the earlier CR-929 project, now renamed the C-929. Since then, new photos have confirmed to Altitude Addicts that the two projects are the same design, as we will show. The story of the long-range wide-body aircraft project between China and Russia is one of both cooperation and separation. The CR-929 began as a joint program. It was celebrated as the first big step by both nations into a market long dominated by Boeing and Airbus. The name itself reflected the partnership. C stood for China for Russia. It suggested equal roles in what was expected to be a landmark project. But over time, the partnership broke down. By 2024, the split was clear. At the Farnborough Air Show, Comac presented the aircraft as the C-929, with no mention of Russia. Russia's role was reduced to the possible future supply of the PD-35 engine and some earlier design work. Chinese officials quietly confirmed this. For China, the program had become both a matter of national pride and a necessity. Its future demand for such aircraft could exceed 1,200 units, far greater than Russia's relatively small needs. Russia's involvement has always been complex. At first, it was the junior partner. It offered know-how based on Soviet-era wide-body designs and contributed its composite wing technology. But the annexation of Crimea in 2014 and the harsher sanctions after the 2022 invasion of Ukraine limited Russia's access to components. This weakened its bargaining power. In 2023, Russian officials announced they would pursue their own program. They would use the PD-35, a new domestic turbofan, to reduce reliance on Western engines. Even so, cooperation has not disappeared. As recently as August 2025, officials from both countries highlighted joint work in civil aviation. These include projects like a heavy helicopter and a wide-body long-haul aircraft. While the aircraft programs are drifting apart in practice, public statements still describe them as part of a shared vision. This helps reinforce political and economic ties. Recent Russian patents prove how close the two designs still are. The S-Chef DMS project, literally translated as wide-body long-range aircraft, has variants labeled 500, 600, and 700. These match the original CR-929 concepts in size and range. Patent drawings show a fuselage sized for nine abreast seating, a wingspan near 60 meters, and a range up to 13,600 kilometers. These are almost identical to CR-929-600 figures. Wind tunnel models at Tsai display the same slim fuselage and long wings. Cabin layouts and emergency exits also match the joint project's original design. The real differences are hidden. Russia's FDMS will use the PD-35 engine. China's C-929 is expected to rely on Western or Chinese engines. This forces changes in the nacelle, pylons, and systems integration. Russia's jet will also need its own avionics, composites, and certification rules. Meanwhile, China is building its aircraft for a large domestic fleet and to cut imports. Russia positions its version as a symbol of industrial independence, with hopes of lower operating costs than the Boeing 7879. In effect, the two countries now have parallel programs. Both planes are being built separately, each driven by national industry and politics. Yet they share the same design routes and look nearly identical on the outside. The C-929 and the SFDMS may face each other as rivals in the market. But they also remain proof of the cooperative origins that shaped them. The latest patent images highlight this paradox. They show that Russia's wide-body project is still very much a continuation of the CR-929 baseline. At the same time, China has moved forward with its own version. Together, 
These aircraft reflect the uneasy balance between independence and cooperation that defines today's Sino-Russian aerospace ties. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.